Alhambra is not some computer name, but the name of a huge Spanish fortress located in the city of Granada. In the Middle Ages, it was the last stronghold of the Moors in Europe. And what about the car with the same name? The fashion for minivans that appeared in the 90s led to the fact that, in order to accelerate the creation of a new model, the Volkswagen and Ford concerns competing in the European market united one project, the creation of a single cabin under the names Volkswagen Chiron, Ford Galaxy, and Seat Alhambra. The Seat brand has long been owned Volkswagen. It should be noted that all three cars are produced at the Auto Europa plant in Portugal and have an almost identical design, and even though they are very similar in design, the main difference is in the equipment. The Ford Concern also installs its motors on the Galaxy. So, the hero of the Seat Alhambra, in fact, is nothing more than the popular VW Chiron, but in a kind of budget version. However, after restyling in 2000, Alhambra began to be offered in charged modifications equipped with all-wheel drive, the famous Volkswagen VR6 engine, leather interior and a number of other options inherent in expensive cars. Probably, many people have a question, why buy a minivan with a modest surname, if you can give preference to its more eminent twin? The answer is obvious, it's all about the price. If initially the difference between the people's car and seat in the same configuration is 10%, then for used cars it is more significant. Since the warranty does not cover runaway copies, potential buyers believe that it is more correct to buy Volkswagen, but here they are mistaken. The manufacturing plant and, accordingly, the quality control of manufacturing are the same. One more thing, for the reasons described above, Alhambra has a low criminal popularity, which means that it is less likely to run into a car with an unclean biography when buying or, once leaving the house, shop, not to see your universal horse is also less likely. True, the prestige of a minivan with the stylized letter S on the front is lower than that of Chiron, but for those who do not need to prove anything to others, this does not matter. The model was offered in a single five-door body variant and its main difference from many minivans is the absence of sliding doors. In other words, all her doors open and close in the same way as almost all cars. And the number of seats in most instances is only five. Two additional seats. Installed in the trunk, they are rare, and they cannot be considered full-fledged because of the low roof in this part of the cabin. In expensive versions, there is a six-seater salon. But the main advantage of this model is its ability to transform. All seats are self-contained and have their own mounts that allow them to be moved back and forth depending on specific tasks, as well as easy to dismantle. The front seats can be rotated 180% and in their backs there are folding tables, reminiscent of aircraft, but, alas, not found in cheap versions. The convenience of accommodating passengers, as well as various luggage, is one of the undoubted advantages of Alhambra. Prior to restyling, the minivan was offered in two basic trim levels, each of which could be expanded by order of the first owner. If longitudinal rails are not installed on the roof for attaching the trunk, then this is the simplest option, which may not even have a minimum power package, that is, with manual windows and cam, etc., and air conditioning. In richer versions, there is the necessary minimum of all modern attributes of automotive comfort. Body. As for the resistance of the body iron to corrosion, everything is in order with this, and even on the copies that came off the assembly line in the first years of production, Red Plague has not yet found its favorite places. During domestic operation, after three to four years, the air conditioning tubes fail. Another typical problem of well-running cars is loosening of the rear door mount. However, this trouble is treated relatively simply. Engine. Despite the fact that under the hood the seat branded emblem is the first to catch your eye, all the power units of the Alhambra are the same as those of the Chiron, as well as other models of the concern. From gasoline, 4-cylinder 2.0L, 116 horsepower, 1.8L, 150 horsepower, and 6-cylinder VR6 2.8L, 174 to 204 horsepower depending on modification. The first of them is frankly weak for a car with a gross weight of almost 2.5 tons, but time-tested and very reliable and also well known to domestic minders. The second, which has an index of 1.8T, provides a worthy compromise between acceleration dynamics and fuel consumption, but, like all turbo engines, it needs high-quality maintenance and careful treatment of the turbine, which rarely withstands more than 150,000 kilometers. It is expensive and difficult to repair. VR6 is the most powerful engine on offer, but very voracious, with an active driving style and urban conditions, 
fuel consumption of 18L-100 km is not the limit, and due to the dense layout of the engine compartment, it is prone to overheating, especially in our realities, where road dirt is very fills up the radiator quickly. Like the previous one, it is expensive to repair and maintain, and due to its numerous features, this can only be entrusted to a narrow circle of professionals. Also, two 1.9-liter turbo diesels were offered for the model. The first of them develops 110 horsepower, the second, 90. Both of them have proven themselves excellent, but if you don't want the minivan to easily overtake the Tavria when starting from a traffic light, then you should give preference to the first option. And one more thing, when buying a solar apparatus, one must remember that poor quality fuel, untimely service, and illiterate handling of the turbine will quickly lead to the need to lighten the wallet. Transmission Traditional 5-speed manual gearboxes are the most widely used, although a 6-speed one can be installed in tandem with the VR6, which allows you to more fully realize the capabilities of this motor. The, the mechanics is very reliable, and you should not expect any troubles from it, but you should take some caution when purchasing a copy with an automatic, which can be either 4 or 5 band, be sure to check its condition on a special equipment. Since troubles with automatic gearboxes happen, and their elimination is very not weak. On the stuffed cars of the last years of production, there is a Tiptronic automatic with the possibility of manual switching, which has proven itself on the prestigious models of the concern. And also, difficult versions, post styling only, can be all-wheel drive, where the torque distribution is carried out according to the time-tested VW synchro scheme, that is, under normal road conditions, the front wheels are leading, and when they slip, the rear wheels are automatically connected through the viscous coupling. Suspension There is nothing revolutionary in the suspension of the model, in front, McPherson strut, and in the back, oblique levers typical of Volkswagen models. The front most often require replacement of the anti-roll bar, this happens in an interval of 40,000 kilometers. But by 70 to 80,000, you have to shake up almost everything from shock absorbers to tie rods. Behind, everything lives much longer and up to 100 to 120,000 does not remind of itself. Spare parts are a sore point for owners of well-run vans. If there are usually no problems with consumables, chassis, and engine elements, they are available in large company stores and technical centers, then there will probably not be any specific part, and you will have to order and wait for it. Moreover, spare parts for Alhambra have their own coating, and although in the vast majority of cases they are interchangeable with twin ones, it is not worth checking this by eye, especially when it comes to some body elements and optics. Outcome In general, in the maintenance and repair of Alhambra, the model is not cheap, besides, many operations are quite specific, and if you trust them to just anyone, the consequences can be very unpleasant. But for many who need a roomy, comfortable and safe minivan, and even at a humane price, Alhambra is quite suitable.